People are saying, Cardi, two, less than 250K sales. Here's my thoughts on that. So, we already discussed how, whole lot of red, scratch that. We already discussed how pretty much every single album is flopping this year, except for like Eternal Take and like Juice World and Pop Smoke, Lil Baby, but those were all like kind of uh, exceptions. Pop Smoke, Juice World passed away, so obviously their sales are gonna go way up. Eternal Take honestly dropped before, before the pandemic really hit, so like it, the sales weren't really affected that much. Even Drake only sold like 250K or something like that on his mixtape. Normally he'd be selling 300K plus. But anyway, now that we're still in a pandemic, the economy is still kind of trash. I know the stock market kind of is inflated. We're all cool on that end, but let's be real half the fucking population or some large proportion of people are still sitting inside. So. A lot of people don't have enough money to like be streaming Playboy Cardi on their Spotify premium account. Okay, they probably can't even afford the Spotify premium account. And so sales in in my finding from Trippy Red to Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande is one of the biggest artists in the world. She's selling a third less copies than she did on her last album, which was like Thank You Next. I don't know what this one was called, but so I don't think whole I don't think whole lot of red would hit 200k. I don't even think I don't even think Uzi, you know Uzi could maybe hit 200k. But I don't know. I don't think whole lot of red's getting close. I think it's a W if he gets above 100k cuz his last album Die Lit sold 60k or something like that. Self-titled, I don't know what it sold. I think it was like 20, 40k or something like that. So it was he's taking small steps every time, but whole lot of red I think if he gets above 100k during this pandemic, he beats Trippy Red. He beats all of his like competitors who are, uh, you know, not like super super stars. Then he's chilling. Okay, so now to December. People are thinking whole lot of red could be dropping whole lot of December. Now, if you recall, Govwalk back in the day, it was like Halloween. I'm pretty sure because I remember y'all spamming me on Twitter, and I was legit so fucked up. I was so lit that night, <laughs> I didn't know what was going on, but um, y'all were hitting me up, Godwalk posts on his story, I think it was like 12, 11, 20, whole lot of red, it was like all black and it just had red font, so he said uh, that's that's dropping, What is what is December 11th, December 11th, what day of the week is that, if it's a Friday, it's a Friday, <laughs> okay, so he said December 11, 2020. Now, honestly, that's looking like uh, a, a possible date at this point. I don't want to believe Godwalk, um, especially because who said it? It was like Lil One or some one of the Playboy Cardi affiliates went on his live saying like, this is Cap, like take that story down and blah, 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 because I think Godwalk was previewing some new music. Um, and so, uh, yeah, and, and I, I don't know if I should believe Govwalk, but now shit seems to be coming true because if Cardi drops a single or if he doesn't even drop a single right now, he's he came out of hiding. He came out of the coffin. Now, if he just if he just finished his album, because he's I mean, we went over in the last video how he just turned it in, apparently. Um, that means that he just sent the music like finished mix and master to the label now the label has to clear samples features I don't we don't know if he has features um, I would hope Uzi's on it But I don't know how good their relationship is to be honest I just don't think they're like in the same circles anymore. I don't think it's like anything heated like that They're just not as cool as they used to be friends grow apart um, But I have no idea. I'm just like y'all. I'm just a fan um, what was I gonna say though? What was I gonna say? So de yeah, December's looking pretty possible right now, especially with all the hype that Cardi's got. But then again, the sales might not do as well as if he dropped it next summer before he was allowed to perform. But then again, the vaccine is coming, like the it's on the way, bro. Like they got two companies who got a 95% effective vaccine currently. So I think they're politically, I'm not, I don't know much about that shit, but they're trying to like expedite the process and do like an executive order to get all the vaccines sent out whatever y'all want to believe because i know some people don't believe in the vaccine like nle chakra 
who's saying like the, go the government's trying to take over blah 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 but if the vaccine comes out that just means that a whole lot of vaccine is gonna bring a whole lot of red and we better be killing it very soon am i right am i right what do y'all think let me know in the chat yeah cardi also unfollowed everyone i got a whole list of some things that cardi did uh, I already told y'all the theory about this week, a single possibly, I mean, after hearing about the Lil Yachty um, album feature confirmed, I was like, maybe not a single, because even if it's just a single, I don't think he would want to drop on the same day as his boy. But then again, Cardi dropping a single might help skyrocket his relevance and then help Lil Yachty too because if he's featuring on the album like if Cardi's up that means Yachty's going up too with with their thing you know what I'm saying uh also if you didn't already know actually I kind of I kind of mentioned it the whole Lil Bo 3 Deluxe leaked that includes Flex Up with Cardi and uh Cardi Cardi whatever you call it I'm gonna listen to it I'm gonna listen to the Cardi verse solely all right so that was it um i got a, i saw a bunch of people talking in the chat and we got a couple questions here um not questions but topics that i wanted to go over uh the money and drugs snippet will or, uh shazam we'll get into very soon but firstly this doesn't sound like baby cardi baby voice cardi this is not baby voice cardi this is uh alternatives and, and psyched out cardi uh I guess the baby voice is going out of style like he's he's not messing with it since uh, <clears throat> Other people are, are you know taking it over. I'm not gonna mention any names here, but y'all can figure out who that is um, Probably multiple artists at this point um, But yeah, I'm not gonna say I like this more or better because y'all know my opinion or if you don't I liked pain 1993 I liked at me the the baby voice was fire uh, while it lasted, but I guess he did have to get out of that mode, especially because in the mixed reviews with the songs, nobody was fucking with it, or at least a lot of people weren't fucking with it. It turned out to be like a whole meme that, you know, Playboy Cardi's ass. Like there was a whole bunch of Cardi slander all over the internet, so he needed to shut people up. I, actually, he told that bitch to shut up. That my my son is crying in the other room. Blah blah blah. Gilbert was crying in the other room. So, um, yeah. So that's my opinion. This song is hard as hell. I fuck with this song. I'm ready for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna be eating the turkey's ass. I'm gonna be eating Cardi's ass. I'm gonna be eating Yachty's ass. Shit, I might even eat Future's 39 year old ass. People are gonna be like, thought he was gay. <laughs> yeah, you thought I was gay. We're gonna get into Uno, the activists, and D Savage and Uzi tomorrow because they were dissing, they were throwing shade. Why am YBN Namir? Um what else we already talked about a whole lot of red december richie self okay so for the people who um let's go through richie south's likes on his twitter let me uh share my screen right quick okay if we go through by the way richie south's tweets are a little i don't know he's hinting at something bro something's coming soon so he said we've been working so hard for this very moment this very moment what does that mean does that mean like it's coming like soon like this week this month whole lot of december so if if whole lot of red don't come fuck i'm back in i don't know you're probably doing the same shit but he's getting my hopes up bro so i'm just gonna say whole lot of red's not dropping until 2021 but we've been working hard for this very moment uh scream mind tag when you hear it i love you all thanks for the support so this seems like he's getting excited for like something coming soon whole album sound like we going platinum but that could just be like a little uh additive to you know the albums turned in but then we go through his likes right uh he said something about it, one of y'all in the bob gang you said something about something dropping tonight or Thursday and, and Richie Self is liking it. Let me find it. But either way, if he liked something coming for Thursday or Monday, I'm pretty sure Richie Self was just liking it because y'all were supporting him. He also liked K, so we now we know trying to get down is on a whole lot of red. Then his homicide and pop out also on there. Richie don't play with me though, and Richie Self again liked 
that tweet. So I don't know if any of this could be possible because I'm pretty sure homicide was actually no, this is the homicide with a C. I was thinking that the one with the X because the, the one with the X was uh, Lil One song. But homicide could be on there and that was like the homicide homicide but yeah everyone's just sucking off richie right now so richie if you don't know is the main producer on a whole lot of red i know i said that already but he's been he's been liking tweets from fans saying this week i don't know but that's why that's another supporting detail of why i think something's dropping this week but again i have no idea i have no idea okay what else we want to talk about chat oh check snippet vault yeah so i saw snippet vault um let's go there so <laughs> I put, put this in my video yesterday, but uh, snippet, vault, shout out snippet vault. He posts like uh, obviously snippets and he's a vault. So he, he posts, he posted Ruby Rose, like showing off her ass and shit and said like, he was trying to do like a story promo telling people, yo, give me $20, $25 and I'll put you on my story because right now he's getting hella views because he posts a lot of Cardi snippets. That's just how it goes um here wait let me share my screen okay snippet vault but and, and he caught playboy cardi in 4k looking at his story his ex-girlfriend ruby rose but again i'd be smashing ruby rose if i was hopefully my girl's not watching this but uh i'd be smashing ruby rose if i was cardi right now and he just broke up with iggy would you not and i know a lot of people saying she's ran through but goddamn i do not give a fuck bro that just means she's got experience Okay, so Snippet Vault. He posted on a story. Let's find it. So Cardi actually commented on right here. So Cardi commented on his post of the. Oh, we gotta. Okay, before we do all this, we gotta listen to the new snippet that Cardi was previewing on his IG live. All right, people. He sounds so punk, bro. He's barely even rapping. He's like. He's, he's actually going like super hard rock like uh I, I don't even know how to describe it where is it he's gonna say they thought it was gay got that on my face got chest on my face I thought it was gay. Okay, but also he said uh, serving that bass, which is actually a uh, a future song from like DS2 or, or Monster or Beast Mode. It's one of those like iconic mixtapes, but that's that's like a future reference, I'm pretty sure. And it's that was a hard song too. Beat. Maybe you put that size purple like Lee. Okay, so for those of you uh, who didn't know, people are saying that this song is called Purple Like Lean because at the very end of the, the, uh, the chorus or something like that, or in this snippet, he was saying Purple Like Lean. But if you also notice, I I'm trying to see if my, uh, my camera is blocking it, but it's not. So Playboy Cardi commented on snippet vault's post okay not only that though so if we go back to his story just got the dm get ready y'all so i'm pretty sure something's coming soon bro because i don't think he's capping about getting the dm from playboy cardi if he commented on his post plus playboy cardi last night was on uh his story as i just said before with ruby rose like looking at his or not looking at his ass uh, Cardi looking at her ass. So yeah. Uh, what else? What else? Produced by blah blah blah. Okay, so here are the producers of the, the song: Jonah, Abraham, all that lurking over the year, and this man finally responds with "Hey, <laughs> yeah, facts." But yeah, there you have it. What if he dropped it right now? I mean, technically it is Monday, people. It's Monday right now, so Cardi could drop it today, a single today and then drop the album in a couple weeks because I don't think he really cares about the first week sales of a single. Um, but but uh, I think he's really trying to prove something on a whole lot of red with the first week sales. Nah, I mean, nah, I mean. Cardi and Richie's story, okay. What is, what is Richie's story? 
Okay, that's red. I love you all. The beginning of an amazing thing. Okay, I just told Richie we rich. New. Hold up. Hold up. He said, soon. Actually, this is an old meme, but it looks like a whole lot of red might be coming soon. We don't know how soon, but we already knew that. We already knew it's coming soon, I think. <laughs> yeah, Uzi has been real quiet since Cardi started talking, bro. I, if I was Uzi, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be saying shit either, considering Cardi's hot as hell right now, and that no, no homo shit, okay? But why would Uzi come in all hot, saying like blah blah blah? Uh, trying to get the hype off of Cardi because there's no way people have been waiting for Cardi to talk for like the last four months Let alone uh, Just post something on social media and then he comes in like Previewing a snippet saying the album's done and all that like there's no way Uzi can do shit right now to Cardi If, if Uzi started tweeting and Cardi started tweeting Cardi would win currently um, but Say we switch the roles if Uzi was just about to drop eternal take nobody was beating Uzi at the time like in early March when he was about to drop it So yeah <laughs>